today, please open the Genesis chapter 50. Genesis chapter 50 from verse 1 up to verse 14. We will read in Siswati. I'm sorry, let's read in English. Okay. Then Joseph fell on his father's face and wept over him and kissed him. And Joseph commanded his servants, the physicians, to embalm his father. So the physicians em embalmed Israel. Forty days were required for him, for such, a, for such are the days required for those who are emb embalmed. And the Egyptians mourned for him seventy days. Now when the days of his mourning were past, Joseph spoke to the household of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found favor in your eyes, Please speak in the hearing of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Behold, I am dying in my grave, which I died for myself in the land of Canaan. There you shall bury me. Now, therefore, please let me go up and bury my father, and I will come back. And Pharaoh said, Go up and bury your father, as he made you swear. So Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him he went all all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Egypt, as well as all the house of Joseph, his brothers, and his father's house, only their little ones, their flocks, and their heads, they left in the land of Goshen. And then, and there went up with him both chariots and horsemen, and it was very great gathering. Then they came to the threshing floor of Atad, which is beyond the Jordan, and they mourned there with a great and very solemn lamentation. He observed seven days of mourning for his father. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning at the threshing floor of Hata, they said, This is deep mourning of the Egyptians. There its name was called Abel Mizram, which is beyond the Jordan. So his son did for him just as he had commanded them. For his sons carried him to the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of Machpelah before Mamre, which is Abraham bought with the field from Ephron the Hittite as, as property for a burial place. And then he had buried his father Joseph. Joseph returned to Egypt. He and his brothers and all who went up with him to bury his father. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, here we read the burial or burial ceremony of Jacob. When we read Bible without much attention, sometimes we do not understand the story. But if you understand, if you try to read Bible with more attention and with more care, then you will be able to understand the story and the hidden spiritual meaning out of that. God for now we found that Bible in a good naga without consagate in shock sinia moya. Today when we read the story of burial ceremony of Jacob's father, I mean Jacob. It seems his burial ceremony was so great and gorgeous. First, for the embalming, for the cleansing of the corpse and putting the putting all that uh, herb and good things to prevent the rotten of the corpse in bombing ceremony. It took 40 days. I don't know if you have experience of 
a body, your very close family or relatives. How long does it take to cleansing all the corpse? Here in Eswatini, how, how many hours do you take to cleansing of the corpse? Before we bury the dead person, we first clean their body, right? And after cleansing them with alcohol, we put them on good clothes. Now how many hours do you need to cleanse the body? Usually in the hospital, people who are doing that, they do cleansing of the dead corpse. It doesn't take more than two to three hours. In Korea, normally they take about two hours, three hours to cleanse it. Although I didn't see the actually how here in Eswatini you are cleansing the corpse. But here in Jacob's embalming, they took 40 days. Why do they need so many days of time period to embalm the dead corpse of Jacob? At that time in, in Egypt, they made a dead corpse as a mirror. You know, for to pre uh, in order to prevent the let me check mommy mommy to make the dead hopes as a mummy. Mummy, how can I explain? To prevent the corruption of the dead corpse. So, to prevent the decaying of the dead corpse, they have to put all that good material into the dead corpse. So anyway, they took 40 days of embalming of the dead body of Jacob. Second, all the Egyptian by the commandment of Pharaoh Except for the Pharaoh king him alone, all the elders, officers, and including all the government officials, they lamented, they mourned for the dead, death of Jacob for 70 days. 70 days. For example, if I give you a structure of a Swatini, except for the king, prime minister, deputy minister, all the minister and all the officers, they mourned for the death of Jacob, who is a foreigner, for 70 days. How many days did we have a funeral for the late, late Prime Minister? Five days? Do you usually take five days when you lost the government leader? Three days? No, Mama Tat. Anyway, they took 70 days of mourning. 
When Pharaoh died, they took 72 days. But when Jacob died, they spent 70 days. Does it make sense? Jacob, is he uh, the prime minister? Is he a prince? What did he do in the Egypt? He was just the father of Joseph. But all the officers, all the people of Egypt, they mourned for 70 days. Let's read verse 3. 40 days were required for him, for such are the days required for those who are embalmed. And the Egyptian mourned for him 70 days. Then let's see also then how many people went for the burial ceremony. Verse 7. Verse 7. So Joseph went up to bury his father and went him, went up all the servants of Pharaoh the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Egypt. For the Jacob's burial ceremony, all the elders of the Egypt, they went to participate. Isn't it strange? Why Jacob's burial, Jacob's death, is his death, burial ceremony is very great. What is the reason? When I thought, I could see that, aha, this is the way how God See the Jacob. Jacob's burial is the same like a king's burial. At this time, Egypt was the strongest nation. So Jacob's burial is considered the same like a king's in the strongest country's leader. Kings Why God blessed Jacob his life even up to his death into so much honor and respect? Why does God consider Jacob as a very great person? What is the reason? There is a reason. In, in the eyes of God, who is really considered as a great and prominent and important person? Among all of us, who will be considered as a very great, prominent and important person? Who is the VIP of our church? Who is the VIP in the eyes of God? Educated person? Doctor degree holder? Rich people? Who? Who will be considered as a prominent, uh, very precious, and important person in the eyes of God, like Jacob? Let's go back to the previous story, how Jacob received blessing. 
Genesis chapter 27. If you go back to 27, this is the starting point of Jacob's blessing. Because of the blessing that he received on chapter chapter 27, he was considered as a very important, prominent person in the eyes of God. But if you read Trump to 27, it says he did not have any good condition or he did not have any faith to receive a blessing or the, bo uh, the, uh, the blessing from his father. But not by his own effort or by his own good works. We can read this whole chapter, then you will understand there was a someone who prepared and helped Jacob to receive this blessing. Jacob, he is saying, Oh, my brother is a hairy man. I am a smooth skinned man. I will be, I will be uh, revealed as a deceiver. I am afraid of receiving a curse rather than a blessing. At the time, who stood on behalf of Jacob? Who led Jacob to prepare and to have all the faith and boldness to receive the blessing from his father? Yes, his mother. Some other church, some people introduce this story as a power of mother. And importance of role of mother. Yes, our mother's role is very important for our children. But it is not that God wanted to empathize the importance of role of mother. Here, if there was any reason for Jacob to receive all the blessing from his father, the very reason why God could consider Jacob as great, as, as much as great as a king. The reason why God blessed even Jacob's life up to the point of the burial ceremony it's not because of his trial, good works, or diligence. It's not because of his great achievement. Why he received such a blessing? It is because of this blessing that he received from his father in Genesis 27. Then, if you also want to receive the blessing from God, if you also want to have that great power or want to be considered as an important, prominent person in the eyes of God, we also have to receive the same blessing as Jacob received. How can we receive that blessing? That blessing is from the blessing of God. But if any one of you want to receive the blessing from God, you are not able to gain that blessing by your effort, by your trial by your good works. The requirements of the, the blessing is not depends on you, but depends on the works of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Here, why Jacob received the blessing? 
He was a coward. Oh, I am afraid. I am a smooth skin man. What if my father cursed me? He was always staying with his mother in the tent. He was a coward. He was a very weak man. Imagine as a man, he didn't have any hair, hair, hairs in, on his skin. Is there any brother who have no hairs? Even sisters have hairs, bro. But if you see any man having no hair, how they look so weak and witty and But this Jacob, he did not have faith. He was a very weak person. He didn't have any condition. But he met a good mother. Here this mother is not a literally mother. If you also meet this good savior. If you also can be held by our good Jesus. You can receive all this great abundant blessing. Amen. Amen. Without your effort, without your any condition. So for the salvation, we don't need any human effort or human standard. Human condition cannot become uh, any additional a uh, point on the salvation. So by mother's preparation, first, mother instructed Jacob what to do. Go and bring a goat from the, uh, from the uh, crawl. Then I will cook a savory food for your father. Who cooked a delicious food for, for the father? Jacob? Or mother? Yes, mother prepared all that good, nice food for father. And who clothed Jacob with the clothes of Esau? Yes, his mother Rebecca prepared the clothes of Esau and clothed him. Just like that, Jesus prepared all the perfect righteousness that we have to wear and stand before God. Jesus, through his death, he made us holy righteous. He took all our sin and judgment on our behalf. So Jesus exchanged. You take all my blessing. I will take all of your curse. Just like this, Rebecca said, let your curse be on me. If you receive any curse, let that curse be on me and you receive all the blessing. So by the effort of Rebecca, Jacob could receive salvation. And who made Jacob's smooth skin into hairy skin? Yes, his mother put all the skin of the goat into the skin of Jacob. 
Hey, now you are no more Jacob, you are Esa. Uh, if your father asks you, who are you? How do you have to say? I am Jay. Ah, no Jay. I am Jay. Yes, try more smoothly. I am Esau. With more tough voice. Can you make a husky voice? I am your son, Esau. I am Esau. Yes, that's good. Now take this food. Who are you? Esau. Okay, go. If you receive any curse, that curse you will Don't worry. How could we gain all this righteousness to stand before God and speak boldly? I am your son, righteous. Who changed our name from sinner to into righteous? By you trying not to sin? By you trying to keep in the commandment? What trial did you do? to obtain the righteousness of God. How did you gain the name of righteousness? If you stand before God asking your name what is your name? What is your name? I am blessing Mamba. Yes, I know you are blessing Mamba. What is your spiritual name? Ah, oh God, I am your righteous son. Blessing. I am holy, righteous man. Is there anyone who will say, Oh Lord, I am a sinner, I am a sinful man, but please forgive me, please please me, please have mercy upon me. If Jacob stood before his father as a Jacob, Father, let me be honest before you. Actually, I am a Jacob. You know, I am a Jacob, but I really need your blessing. I, I don't want to cheat you. Mother, although my mother told me to say, I am your first born Esau, but I don't want to be liar. Let me tell the truth. I am your second born Jacob. But I really need your blessing. Please, please, please. Please, I will kneel down and beg you. I will serve you with all the savory food for one month. And do you think Jacob could bless him? If you stand before God, say, let me honest before God. Oh Lord, I have committed a lot of sin. I was a sinful like this and that. I am a sinner. You know, I couldn't keep all these commandments. I was such an evil man. I was a drunkard. I committed a theft. I did this and that. Although I didn't repent, I, I didn't confess to anyone else. But at least before you, God, I confess all my sin. Please forgive me. Please, please then we will say, oh, oh, okay, you are honest. I will forgive you. you think this is how God will forgive us? Immediately when you say, I am a sin. See? No, okay, go. 
God doesn't need honest person. God doesn't need a righteous person, self-righteous person. God needs righteous men who obtain the true faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I am your firstborn, Isao. Oh, it sounds your voice is like Jacob. No, I am your Esau. Okay, come close to me. Let me touch you. Are you really Esau? Are you really Esau? Yes, I am your son Esau. Are you really righteous? Are you surely, surely righteous? Yes, Father God, I am your righteous son. Hey, I know how sinful, deceitful life you live. I don't know if God will test us with a tricky question. Hey, I have the, all the records that the sin that you have committed in the world. On certain certain days, at this time you committed this sin. On certain certain day you committed this sin. Ah, oh, you are such evil sinful man. But still are you are righteous? Honestly, yes, I did so this man. Please forgive me. Uh -huh. I caught you. Now you must go to hell. Why? Why? Is it because our sins are revealed? God already knows each and every act that we did. When God, I don't know how tricky it will be, but when God tests us, I know you have committed this sin, this sin, this sin, this sin, this sin. God, I am still righteous. Yes, I still righteous. I am 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 still righteous. I will remember no more. Uti gona kwe tu ayu pinze ukumbu. Ukumbu. Your sin, your Lord's sin, I will remember no more. Don't not dare tu ne gona kwe tu ayu pinze ukumbu. And by the by that will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Amen. Yes, it is true that I have committed such, 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 such sin. Yes, I acknowledge, I don't deny that. I was a such evil sinful human. And sometimes also I committed sin. I made a lot of mistakes. Yes, I was a such evil human. But by the works of Jesus Christ, by the sacrifice, Sacrifice of the death of Jesus. I have been made holy. We are sanctified. Once and for all. This is what I believe. Hallelujah. Amen. What will you say? You will be the first person or the last person. Depends on your faith. Like this Jacob. Jacob did not say, Oh, Father, 
Honestly, I'm a Jacob. Oh, please, I want to receive your blessing. I got to show you what you need to know. You got to get your sin Instead, he boldly introduced himself as an Esau. Got to get what you need to be. So what he now is Esau. It's not because of his good works. I got to get your sin and let's be seven years old. By the works of his mother, representing the works of Jesus Christ. We all became holy, righteous persons. We have no more judgment. See, we stand before God based on the works of Jesus. So God needs person who have faith in Jesus. Amen. Amen. God is looking for someone who has faith in Jesus. God does not need conscious person. God does not need honest person. God is looking for someone who is Having faith in Jesus. Amen. 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 Is that clear? Do you have that faith? Can you stand before God any time? Yes, based on that works of Jesus. Then, if then, if you have that faith as Jacob. In the eyes of God, in in the standard of God, God consider each and every one of you as a king of this world. Wow, such a faithful man indeed. Wow, I want to open all the window of heaven and pour all the blessing upon that man. Oh, that brother, love that faith. Oh, that sister, has that faith. Let me pour all the heavenly blessing upon this. Who is another Jacob? Who has the same faith as Jacob? Who? No one. Good. Who has the same faith as Jacob? I have that faith. Meaning, I have a call. Yes, before God. Only few have the same faith. I have a call. Who has that faith? I have a call. Yes. Amen. If you have that faith, you are considered more precious than the king of this world. Let's read Numbers chapter 23. Numbers 23, verse 21. This is the way how God sees Jacob. Verse 21. He has not observed iniquity in Jacob, nor has he seen wickedness in Israel. The Lord in God is with him, and the shout of a king is among them. Israel angeg abenefsisi smagatse kulukuluwa bo una umenyeto ne kutuni swa kwenye osu kusemkati nwa. He has not observed iniquity in Jacob. Aga wabon ema shak Jacob. If you have same faith like Jacob, magabu na kora lukfana ne kwa Jacob. If you have the boldness to stand before God, say, I am holy righteous. Magabu na lisos binse kwenye mbwa kulukulu kuti meningi kwe ne futi ngumi ile. Then you deserve to be called as a Jacob. Amen. We are fanned away with some bit of what we chago, but I'm not. Then here in re replace the name of Jacob into your name. Shano gerek kamala chago, but ufage da ako. He has not observed iniquity in Pastor David. Good day, Emma. Shall that I wish the la magemes. 
Amen. Amen. Nor has he seen wickedness in Israel. Does God see any iniquities or any wickedness in you? No. Why? Because of the blessing that we received. Because of all the works of Jesus Christ. This verse is the same as Hebrews chapter 10, verse 17. You are seeing your Lord is this, I will remember no more. God does not even see your iniquity, your wickedness, no matter how sinful, wicked person you are, God does not see that. The Lord, His God is with Him. And the shout of a king is among them. God called Jacob as what? You are a king. The shout of a king is among men. God calls the name of Jacob as well. You are a king. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You are not a king of this kingdom though, but you are the king in the kingdom of heaven. You are, the, you are the chosen uh, prince and princess of the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Verse 22. God brings them out of Egypt. He had strength like a wild ox. Your strength is like what? Wild ox. Wild ox become hey, exhausted after working one day. So indeed, our brothers and sisters who partook into this Konkoro work. Konkoro. I could see that they were working like what? Wild ox. Although our sister let Whenever I see her, her body can be easily broken. Her waist is like an ant. <laughs> Whenever I see you walking around, wow. But I found her first day until the last day. Four days. Time, until we finish all the works. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes. Who gave us the strength? While like a wild ox. Did you see even our sister was putting the, no? the crushed stone on the basket? Baguette. They were pushing, they were pushing sand and the crushed stone in the in the basket and lifting up. No one exhausted. No one hospitalized. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. God really gave them all the strength. So one day after we finished this job, we went to a hospital. Don't be angry if you were not invited. After we finished this show, I took them to the hot spring and put them into the hot water. From the morning until sunset, they didn't want to come out. 
They spend the whole day. So I had to pull them out through giving them a baptism. <laughs> so I call them all, let's, let's do the baptism ceremony. Otherwise they didn't want to come out. So this is how God gave us all the strength. Not only the young brothers and sisters. All of us, regardless of our age, regardless of gender, regardless of the body size. God gave us what? Strength like a wild ox. Amen. Amen. Then who can use that power? The one who believes and move, exercise, practice, they can feel that power of God. Amen. Amen. Now let me read a few more verses. Ephesians chapter 1. How much power God has given us. We will see how God, how much power God has given us. Ephesians chapter 1, verse. Verse 18. Verse 1, verse 18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Akakanyise emesho etinkitwe nten kuze nati lo gultemba lanbite lagulo neguti ibuse buse ganga ganan bukosbeli falake gubo labangwe. Paul is very much passionate for all the saints of this church of Ephesia to know how much glory and how much power that we receive when we receive salvation. So he's saying, the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. Verse 19. Verse 19. And what is the exceedingly greatness of his power towards us who believe? How much power? Like a wild ox. And the exceedingly greatness of his power towards us. How much hour? Uh, how much strength? Just a few strength? Just little strength? Then you can just barely, barely overcome the COVID. The strength that you can barely, barely overcome the flu. The strength that you can barely overcome the body sickness? No, God gave us the exceedingly greatness of His power. Then when and how can you discover that, oh, did I have such a great power? When can you realize that? And when can you practice that power? When you believe. First believe. First you have to believe that God has given me this exceedingly great power. Amen. Amen. That is not my power. That is his power. Not 
little his power exceedingly greatness of his power oh, please listen and repeat exceedingly greatness of his power in English let's all repeat that together exceedingly exceedingly greatness, greatness of his power of his power exceedingly then this exceedingly greatness of his power can conquer cancer, disease, problem, poverty, all kinds of sickness, and even the challenges and problems of our life. Amen. Amen. Towards us who believe. So you have to believe. God does not need someone who are asking hope. God is looking for someone who has faith. In other words, the one who believes. Amen. Amen. According to the work of his mighty power. His mighty power. Then, how can we see whether we have that mighty power of God or not? When can you see? When you move your footstep with the church together. Because church always do the work of God. Not as much as that capacity of church can do. Church of God move their footstep, move her footstep exceedingly greatly more far more than capacity of the church member or the number of the church member or capacity of the church. Because that is the church of God. For example, suppose our church members are 10, 1,000. So now we have 1,000 members, but we have a small church hall. That's why let's give offering to build this big chapel. Then it makes sense. But number of our church members, 70, 50, 70. Then with this number of people, Building of that building, does it make sense? Then number of members is Some of the previous Korean brothers said, The ones that we are doing that project, Pastor, it is saying like you are hitting the rock with egg. If you throw the eggs on the rock, what will happen? If you put too much power, then the rocks can start cracking. What can you do? Nothing. Good. So he was saying that the building of this project is the same as we are throwing the eggs on the rock. Yes, that's right. Yeah, That's why we are the church of God. Why? Because we, the true church of God, has this exceedingly greatness of his power. That we are the people who can pull all the mighty power of God to complete His will using such weak, lacking human like us. Amen. 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 Yes. So you will see the completion of that project. 
And you will see how God really bless this church because this is his church. Amen. Amen. So we are the people who have that great power. And this church has that mighty power of God. So when church moves footsteps, if any member can you be separate away from the church? When body moves, can any member of body can say, oh no, I want to remain behind? It's impossible. Right? Right? If church goes, all the body cell will follow the body. So likewise, if you unite your heart into the work of church, when church says, let's pour the concrete, okay, let me join into the concrete world. Oh, let's make bricks. Okay, let's join the brick work. Let's give offering. Okay, let me join the offering. I don't really know how I can use this great power. I don't even know whether I have that power or not. But when the church of God moves, if you also move, then you can use that great power and you will discover, oh, I also received such abundant grace. Abundant power. In verse 21. Verse 21. Verse 20. Which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heaven's place. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion. Think about this. Jesus was raised up by the mighty power of God. And this Jesus is far above. Jesus is far above all principles, principalities, and all the power, and all the might, and all the dominions. Jesus Christ is far above them all the power, authority, and any mighty, rich man in this world. This is the secret. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is far above of what? All the mighty power of man in this world. We are his body. In the name of this church. And on his feet, under his feet, there is the rich people in the world, smart people in the world, and prominent people in the world, and high position people in the world, even the king and president of this world. As long as you are belong to Christ, when you become a part of this holy body of Christ, don't forget it. You are the greatest in this world. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, Pastor, but in my reality, I have lacking of funds, lacking of this, I am short of this, I am lacking of wisdom. That's why I am saying, I'm telling you, if you want to discover that you have that great power in your life, if you want to see how God 
consider you as a great king of this world. You have to move your footstep together with the church. Oh, how can I do that? How can I do that much? Oh, it is too burdensome. Oh, it is out of my beyond. Oh, it is beyond of my ability. Beyond of my capacity. If you say that is beyond of your capacity, then you are confining yourself into that small box. God has given us exceedingly greatness of His power. God has given us that almighty power of God. All the principality, power, might, dominion is under His feet. We are His body as the name of this church. Verse 22. And he put all things, all these things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church. Church, we are the member of the church, right? We are the member of the church of God. So each and every member, when we move with this body, in front of this church, you will see all world bow down. Wow, were we so great like this? When we go beyond of our ability, you will see, wow, were we so powerful like this? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That's the time that only you can feel and practice in the power of mighty God. Although you are sick, although you have challenge, although you may have problem, when you move forward, when you work together with the church, you will be able to see how God's power is mighty. There was a one brother. Oh, I cannot breathe well. Oh, I have one. I have asthma. So it is very difficult for me to work. So I told him, work and die. Wow, such a cruel pastor, right? If someone is saying that, oh, pastor, I'm awesome. Oh, I'm suffocating. Oh, oh. Then what should I say? Oh, you have asthma. Go and rest. Oh, I'm awesome. Oh, I'm awesome. Oh, this pastor is a very cruel pastor. So I told the brother, work and die. If God die, uh, allow you die, die here, then I will you. He said, okay. Okay. I was thankful that he accepted my words saying, okay. So when I saw him, he continued pulling the wheelbarrow so I asked him. His face was not good. So I asked him, Are you okay? I'm not okay, Master. Okay. Continue work. Do you remember Mark 11, verse 24? Do you remember? The Pastor Park's testimony. I am sick. Oh, I have a stomachache. I am sick. But I am healed. First, believe that you are okay. Then God will listen to you. 
Are you okay? I'm not okay. Okay, continue. Be not okay. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. What's Yes, I am okay. Say, I am okay. Believe that you are okay. First, believe. Then God will hear from you. Oh, you believe in my words? Okay, be okay. This is how God always works. So you will never die. Work. Then believe that you will be okay. Okay. Yes, Pastor. 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 When we work, we can see. Aha, God gave me this strength. If we don't work, why are we are just sitting down? Although you know, although you believe, it does not show any changes in your life. Amen. Amen. That's why we have to move our footstep together on the pace of the church. How can you see that God really honor you and respect you? God gives all the strength upon your life. When can, you see, when can you see the power? When you are living your normal life within your lifestyle, within your territory, you can never experience the great power, mighty power of God. But when can you see that? When can you experience that power is within you? When? When you work with the church. Amen. Amen. When you walk with what? Yes, when you walk in the same pace of the church. Then it is the same like you can never reach to Korea by swimming or on running or on foot. Is it possible? If you start going to Doba, start swimming in the Pacific Ocean all the way to meet until you meet Tepyongyang emoji. Pyongyang. Pacific Ocean. India. Indian Ocean, I'm sorry. From that, uh, that Durban, you pass through all that ocean and can you reach to Korea? No, it's impossible. Right? Amen. But if you get on board, if you move your body into the aeroplane, then while you are sitting in the aeroplane, you drink, you eat, you watch movie, and you go to the toilet and sleep. Then you will find yourself, oh, I am in Korea. Amen. So you need to get on board of this church. Not just by attending the church service. We have to partake into the glorious work of God. Then you will definitely see how God gives you that great power in you. Not only in this project. When church make bricks, you join, come and join the brick works. And as I announced to all the members, not an option. 
we have to make our Bible study group. Either one individual or make a group of your, or to your family. Start preaching the gospel. Hey, do you know how it, Jacob received blessing from his father? Whether you prepare 10 minute sermon, 20 minute sermon, start, move forward. Move your footsteps. step. Ah, this one. This one is too arrogant. No, we wouldn't listen. Oh, this person is too in a high position. No, I cannot reach. This person is so rich. I cannot reach. And this one, this one is so childish. So I, I want to. This one is my enemy. No, I cannot. No, even to your enemy, even to your friend, even to anyone, you have to open the Bible and preach the gospel. Share the word of God. Amen. Amen. Not only the bread, not only the drink. Yes, it is good to share bread, drink, and don't forget to share this gospel of Christ. Amen. Amen. If you didn't start, if you haven't started yet, the deadline is next week. Deadline is when? Next week. All of you. Song. If you think oh, I am not yet ready to share, then you yourself need to have a Bible study with me. So after having an assurance of salvation, having a clear understanding of this gospel, you can teach and share as much as you understood with other people. Amen. 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 Yes. Let's move our full step on the same pace of this church. By the week of 18, we will be starting our online Bible seminar. The founder of our mission, Reverend Oksu Park, he will be starting the Bible Global Online Bible Seminar. So we will be interpreting in Siswati. And we will make it into the shorter clip, sometimes some of them as a 30 minutes, some of them in one minute, one hour, so that you can also use that clip to share the gospel of Christ to many other people. In any ways, in any condition, with whosoever, if you stop preaching the gospel, 